live and I'm going to check it out and make sure it's live on my Facebook. What's going on, beautiful people? It is Linda S. Husser, the bodacious lifestyle coach. I'm excited to be coming to you live today with this edition of Lunch and Learn with Linda. I am... I am going live with Jacqueline Johnson. And I want you to know that this is a conversation that I really feel is super duper important. I think it's very important, not just as a life coach myself, but I think it's important because so many times we have been taught, never let them see you sweat or um, fake it till you make it, all of these things. And I understand where it's coming from. In one sense, I feel that it is it is it can be helpful faking it till you make it because sometimes we need to do what we need to do to keep moving forward. However, there does come a time when it is okay to not be okay. So who I have with me today is Miss Jacqueline Johnson. Jacqueline yes. Johnson, and in full transparency, she is a private client of mine. But the reason why I wanted to have her come on today is because Jacqueline also is a, I'm going to let her introduce her introduce her to itself, but just goes to show you that sometimes even when we may be in a profession or in a space where we're supposed to have it all together, you know, by the books and all that type of stuff, that you can still get the support that you need and still be okay. So with that, Miss Jacqueline, I want you to introduce yourself to the people, to the queens in the queendom. And, and <laughs> let them know um, what does it's okay to not be okay. What does that mean to you? Okay. Thank you, Linda. And thank you for the invite. Um, I really appreciate it. Oh, well, my name is Jackie. I'm a 60, 68 year old woman. Um, I'm a therapist. That's my profession. Um, I have also was a teacher for over 30 something years. So with that being said, you know, I'm quote, I guess, unquote, a professional. <clears throat> but I struggle. <laughs> and it, it's so funny that, you know, uh, Linda brought up this topic because I saw a post and it said, unless you acknowledge that you're hurting, you cannot heal. Mm. And that just resonated with me so much because all my life, even, you know, um, my role models, my mother, my aunts, you know, all the women in my family have been strong black women. And I've been thinking about it. I never seen them not be okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even if they weren't, they appeared to be okay. And that was what was kind of passed on to me. Never let them see you sweat. Okay. Yes. So yes. for years, well, let me just interrupt just really, really quick. So, so, so this, would you agree that this whole moniker of strong black woman in its purest form doesn't allow us to be okay? Right. And I mean, doesn't allow us to not be okay. And that's because what I was. got to keep the cape on, right? Right. And that's okay. what I was getting ready to say. You know, for years, you know, I had to be okay. I couldn't let them see me sweat. <clears throat> But in, but deep down inside, I wasn't okay, yeah. you know, and I, and I didn't know how to say, I was embarrassed to Ooh. say I was not okay. Okay. Um, because everything I saw around me, you know, was strong and, you know, you, you just, um, do what you have to do. It doesn't matter how you felt or yes. whatever else was going on. You get the job done. Yes, yes. No. And I just want to just say really quick, if you are listening to this right now and you can relate, you don't have to share what you're not okay with or whatever, but if you can just relate to what Jacqueline is saying, I just want you to put in the comments, I can relate because we've got to get to a point, um, Jacqueline, where we can relate. And then there's somebody, a Facebook user that says she understands feeling embarrassed. Now I am using StreamYard. Now, 
If you're on my profile, my personal profile, you're not going to see the link that says allow StreamYard. You have to click that link to allow them because I can see that someone said, I understand feeling embarrassed, Jacqueline. So thank you for sharing that part, but I don't know who said it, but continue on. Thank you so much. Yeah. So for years, you know, up until recently, you know, my favorite line was I'm okay. And I think mm -hmm. as black women, that's our favorite line. When people ask us and people generally want to know, but we say, oh no, I'm okay. Yes. And we yes. have convinced ourselves yeah. that we're okay. And yeah. that's the part that I had to get in touch with. When I saw that post, I sat back and it just resonated with me so, so much that, oh my God, how many times have I said I was okay and I was not okay? Mm, 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 and then see and then seeing the post and realizing it made sense how am i going to heal if i'm always saying i'm okay yes yes but don't you agree that we've been taught by society to for, for the negative quote emotion which might be stuck or confused or uncertain or unhappy, right? We have been taught that that's bad. Like by no means are we ever supposed to let people know that. Well, right? you know, well even as a race, black women, yeah. we were never taught to embrace our feelings. And that's what I meant when I was saying, you know, I had all these strong black women role models. You know, I've, you know, there, I could probably count on my hand how many times I saw my mother cry mm. or show that she wasn't strong. Yes. So, yeah. you know, growing up, if you don't see this, how do you even embrace it or even know, know to do those things? Right, right, right. So one of the things that I would say, hey, Jacqueline, Jacqueline, who said she was feeling embarrassed, uh, said her name is Jacqueline, too. So I really want to um, I really want to ask the viewers to just put in the comments if you feel that you are a strong black woman or are you ready to burn the cake? Are you ready to take that S off your chest, right? And replace that strong black woman S with the three S's, selfish, self-care, sister. How about that? Selfish, self-care, sister. So let's talk about some of the ways, uh, Jacqueline, um, that you started to address this whole notion of, or get behind the idea of feeling like it was okay to not be okay. What what happened for you? What was the catalyst for you? Well, you know, of course, pain is the biggest motivator. You know, and um, I had been go. You know, I had been dealing with some um, serious issues. You know, my health, um, a broken relationship, and then um, my partner dying. So that kind of made me sit still. Okay. okay. And when I sat still, it was like, I am so miserable. Wow. You know, I've been miserable for too long. And all I wanted to do was to start feeling good in my body. You know, totally. Mind, body, and spirit. So one day as I'm on Facebook, whose face appears? Linda. Linda. Oh, wow. <laughs> Me? My face appeared on Facebook. Yes, your 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 Facebook post appeared and it was something about your energy that was like a magnet for me. And so, and then I was like, oh my God, a life coach. I know I heard life coaches cost so much money, but I but I still was interested enough to, to follow your post and then i found out twenty dollars well what i don't have what, nothing to what look post was that was that for the master class that i did that was your master class oh, right yes. your first class where i think you charged twenty dollars and 21 cent girl for 10 days <laughs> right for 10 whole days right? Right, right that was like a dollar a day right and you know why i did that and i'm gonna just just jump in really quick i did that jacqueline because I am on a mission to see to it that we normalize mm -hmm. life coaching, 
therapy, group sessions, asking for help, raising our hand, waving the white flag, whatever we want to call it, I am on a mission to see. Now, my sweet spot is Black women over 50 who I know have been programmed, who've been going through some things, who didn't see our grandmama ask for help, didn't see our mama ask for help, our mm -hmm. auntie, nobody around us asked for help. Mm -hmm. We're in that group where that was definitely seen as a sign of weakness, weakness. And something right. that you were not supposed to do. I mean, literally, if your life depended on it, there are some of us, Jacqueline, who have transitioned, who have gone to their grave because they could not say that they were not okay. So they okay. died with broken hearts. They died mm -hmm. um, empty and, and miserable and sad because they just didn't know how to say that they were not okay. And so with that, all right, I, I know I cut you off. So you see this ad, you see me talking about um, the masterclass. Now you, you're a therapist. Now what made you as a therapist? Because here's another notion. We like to think that there are certain people who just got it all together. They got all the tools and the tips and the techniques. What made you as a therapist want to join my 10 day masterclass? What was that all about? Well, because I have a history of, of, of being in therapy and I okay. know how therapy has helped me, you know, overcome addiction, uh, process grief. Addiction. Uh, what, what, what kind of addiction? Drug addiction. Oh, okay. Cool. Drug addiction. Yes, um, grief. Uh, sexual mo molestation, all of it. Okay, therapy helped me overcome um, the hurdles and being crippled by mm. it. Mm. So it wasn't like, oh, you know, I had to go through this big process of, you know, uh, reaching out. But I did have some hesitation on uh, life coach. It was like, well. I, I know all that stuff, you know what yes. I'm saying? But in reality, I needed, I know that I needed to sit with someone, mm -hmm. okay? Get it out of my head, okay? Mm -hmm. Because as long as I sat and it ruminated in my head, I knew I wasn't, I was, it wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. Right. So now tell me this. Now you said something very powerful. You said you are currently a therapist. Yes. And you know all this stuff. And yet you joined my master class in, I think, November, whenever it was. I'm, I'm due to have one in February. But you joined it anyway. What was it that made you join, even though there was some hesitation? How did you move through that hesitation? Was it the whole life coaching thing? And with you being a therapist, you figure, oh, I know all that. What's she going to tell me? Well, that was the initial process. Uh -huh. But, you know, I also know that I deal with a lot of fear. And oh. anything that fears, uh, that that I'm fearful of, I know I should do. Ooh, I should you, say, say, well, you have to back that up. Come on now. <laughs> Say that one more again. Because most people let fear repel them i had for you so let it propel you i oh. had for so many years yes. i had and as i sat before i i saw your post you know i i had you know knowing that i could be so much more but then mm. me thinking oh i'm 68 i can't you know there's not many opportunities you know and then social you know society all the societal um norms of you know when you get this age you should be sitting back relaxing life is over all that you know plays in your head constantly yes, yes. but i took a chance on myself Ooh, I stop said, right there. Wait, wait, wait. Mm, 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 mm. Listen, who, if you're listening to the sound of my voice, I really want you to understand what she just said. She took a chance on herself. We take more chances on these scratch offs than we do on ourselves. You are the lotto ticket. You continue yep. on. And, you know, and I had, like I said, I had just gotten out of a bad relationship. And mm -hmm. as I, reflecting back of all that I, I was giving, 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 giving to everybody else, but I wasn't mm. giving anything to myself. Mm. So that's when I said, I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to try to do this and learn in the process to love myself just a little bit more. Just Girl. a little bit. 
if you don't knock it off, you said just a little bit more. And that's another thing. We got to take bite size pieces, right? We're like, like I'm on a mission to, to release this 40 pounds by my birthday, June 5th. And I put it out there in the atmosphere. I put it in the universe because I want everybody rooting me on. Yes. <laughs> I'm not okay with, with my weight. I'm mm -hmm. not. And I, and I, it's okay for me not to be okay with that. But what is not okay is for me to not be okay with it and continue to get, eat the Krispy Kremes and, and the, the cheeseburgers and fries and the ice cream. That is the difference. And we've got to come to a place and a space where we're not just sitting in not being okay. Not being okay and then yeah. still not doing anything. Yes. That's where, for me, that's where misery, depression, you know, uh, critical thinking, uh, mm. critical self-thinking, critical over-criticizing myself. All mm -hmm. of that lies right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so you, you see the ad, you're a therapist, you think you know it all, and you know, I love you, Jackie. Yeah. You think you know it all, you don't really need this. So you you sign up for the masterclass that I did, and and then what happened? So you're in the masterclass, so, and then what so happened? I, uh, I signed up for the masterclass, and then just the things that you were saying, especially about fear, because mm -hmm. I was sitting... Fear had swallowed me up whole. Mm -hmm. You know, I was fear, I was scared to go left, I was scared to go right, you know, but I knew that I needed to do something. I just didn't know what it was. And yes. that was why I signed up. It was yes. like, okay, maybe this can help me get some clarity. Okay. 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 And now I have some support of other black women that are going through the same thing. My age group. Yeah. It, it's a win-win. Yes, 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 yes. So now let's talk about, um, so you take the masterclass, you, you got the accountability, you've got the, the, the sisterhood, right? You're getting the coaching from me. What was it that had you say, okay, I've been in this masterclass for 10 days Linda is putting it all the way down. What made you take it a step further and decide that you wanted to coach with me on, on a private level? What was that all about? Well, during the master class, my mind kind of just opened up. All mm -hmm. the old ideas and dreams that I had started bubbling up. Okay. And you said something something in the master class about you know visualize how you want your life to be yeah okay and my vision was not what i was living girl now you can't just run through that say that one more again for the people in the back <laughs> say that one what i time. visualized was not what i was living so i knew okay Maybe I could come up with a plan, you know, and then all these ideas came up. And what I vision for my life is that when I wake up in the morning, I want to decide how my, what my day looks like. If mm -hmm. I want to walk on the beach, I want to be able to walk on the beach. If I want to volunteer, I, that's what I can do. If I want to go to the fresh fruit and vegetable market, that's what I want to do. I wanted also to get out of corporate. I'm so burnt out of over corporate and nine to five. I've been working 54 years. People think I should be retired, but I have so much more. I have, I have so much more energy and just taking a chance on myself. Yes. And spending those 10 days in your, in your class. Yes. Like I said, all these ideas just started popping up in my head and now I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm excited. Now I have to streamline what idea yes. do I want to put in motion and what yes. idea would resonate with the lifestyle that I, I foresee in the yes. future, not now, but in the future. Yes. Yes. All right. So now we got that together. So you, 
you're coaching with me privately, um, even though you're a therapist, you recognize that you could only take you so far. And that sometimes we got to get outside of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like when we're not okay, when when we realize that we're not okay, here's the thing that that I really want to impress upon people. When you actually realize that you are not okay, the first step that you have to do is get out of your head and into action. Right. Right. you got to get out of your head. That's the first step. If you're trying to go from, I understand and recognize that I'm not okay, and you're trying to get okay, the first thing is you got to get out of your head and into action, period. What am I going to do? What What? do I need to do to move forward? Yes. That's the question you have to ask yourself. yourself. Yes. Yes. And not, and, 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 and here's where I feel a lot of people get stuck in this, this cycle of not being okay and being okay, not being okay. And here's the thing, there is nothing wrong with, with not being okay, but you can't stay there. You can't wallow in that emotion. Because then what happens is we become stagnant. For some of us, we do things that are that are really um, detrimental to us, right? So the first thing is you must get out of your head and get into action. The second thing, what would you say um, is the second thing? Once you've gotten out of your head and into action, what would you say the second thing would be? Or what type of action? Let's talk about what types of well, action. Well, it, it just take. depends on, you know, the person. I believe yes. it depends on the person mm-hmm. and where you want to go in life. Mm-hmm. What you want your life to look like. I mm-hmm. think that's the second step. Yes. Once yes. you figure out, okay, I, I need to do something. Yes. Okay. Then you need to sit with yourself and figure out what that looks like. Yes. Yes. And that's what we don't do. You said something very powerful. You said sit with ourselves and figure out we're so busy running away from ourselves, running away from our feelings, running away from reality. And this is why I say we've got to meditate. I think meditation is so powerful. Prayer is powerful, but we got to get still. So that we can hear the messages from ourselves. A lot of times we haven't even listened to ourselves, what we want. Sometimes we're not okay uh, because we're not living the life we want to live. And we understand and recognize and realize that we're settling. Right, right. And that our life has, we feel like it has no meaning. Right. There's no purpose. No purpose, no joy. Mm -hmm. We just going to work. I'm, I don't think people have punched the clock anymore. I haven't had a real job in so long. I don't know what they <laughs> do. So we, we, we don't even have the guts and the oomph to, if you want to work, if you don't, not everybody has to own their own business. Right. But if you're in a job that sucks, you've got to have the guts to at least get still with yourself and say, you know what? This job is sucking the life out of me. I hate it. Mm-hmm. And do something about it. Why would you show up to a job that you hate for years? Well, Linda, on that note, why would you show up for anything that's sucking the life out of you? Oh, well, not just job, relationship. Well. And I'm not even talking romantic relationships. You know, our friends suck the life out of us. Mm. You know, and mm-hmm. getting back to being still, I now, at least an hour a day, turn everything off and just sit in silence. Mm. To give my, to give th- my intuition mm-hmm. some space to talk to me. Mm. And and allow myself the time to listen. Because everybody, you know, every you know, people said meditate, meditate. When you say meditate, I think that you gotta cross your legs and sit like that. But <laughs> what I found out is that no, that you don't have to meditate like that. Right. Meditation is just being still yeah. and quiet. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So the first thing, because I know there's some people here who may be not feeling okay. And let me know if this conversation has been good to you. If this lunch and learn is something that you, are you learning anything? Then I just want you to put in the comments, this is good. Just literally, this is good. This is good stuff. Whatever you want to put, this is good. And, 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 and so the first thing you have to do is get out of your head and get into action. The second thing, like you said, Jackie, is is you got to visualize what it is you want. Now, the third step I'm going to say is you got to get still so that you mm -hmm. can hear, you know, intuition. Because at the end of the day, Jackie, I think we all really know deep, deep, deep down inside right. what it is we really want. Mm -hmm. but we don't have the guts to go get it. Yeah. Let's just be clear. And, and also... Right? We don't, we're not still enough. We don't take the time to be still because, you know, in, in the world that we live in now, information is coming at us so fast and just so much, you know, yeah. we're being bombarded. And yeah. if you don't take the time to remove that, quiet yourself, how do you, how do you even hear Yes. what's yes. going on with you? Yes. We just react and react and react and react. Yes, 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 yes. And 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 that's 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 why it is so important. If you are if you are not okay, that's okay. But my right. question to you is what are you doing about it? What action are you taking? What does okay look like for you? Because some of us we have not been okay for so long, we have gotten comfortable not being okay. Mm -hmm. And that should be a temporary position. That should be like you are are living in a place, and that's just temporary your temporary residence. That's not where you 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 actually gonna buy the plot, buy the land, build the house on not being okay. That's not what this is all about at all. So with that, I'm I'm just gonna just do a shameless plug real quick. If you find yourself in a space and in a place. Where you're now, I am not a therapist. Let let me just disclaimer. <laughs> I'm talking about we're not talking about trauma here. We're talking about you maybe have some goals that you've been been on the back burner for the last 20, 30 years, and you still can't figure out why they're still there. You may be feeling like your okay could be not being okay. Is I'm feeling like I'm too old and it's too late for me, right? Now you can. You can sit in that forever until you die if you want to, or you can say, you know what, even though I feel like it's, I'm too old when it's too late, I, I, I'm seeing people older than me doing stuff. So I know that's not true, but what do I need to kickstart my journey to the life that I truly want to live? I want you to, to definitely go to chatwithlindanow.com. I'm offering, inviting you to free 30-minute Ignite Your Life calls. They are a game changer. Would you say, Jackie? Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. I am so, so far that far in <clears throat> what I thought my life was going to look like. You know, I'm not there. Yes. I'm in the process. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I feel good because I'm not sitting on my couch. Mm. watching TV or watching Netflix or doing any other mindless thing for time to pass that, yes. that I'm, I'm actually in the action stage. Yes, 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 yes. So these lunch and learns are 30 minutes. We're going to do these every Friday at 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Is there anything, because it is 929 and I want to be... Um, like if people are really at lunch or for West Coast people, it's nine o'clock. You know, I want to make it where, you know, they can get in, get get some good lessons, you know, some food for thought. So is there anything you would like to say in parting, Jackie? Not necessarily about me, right? But about your understanding of it's okay to not be okay and how to move through that. Just take a chance on yourself. Mm -hmm. Just take a chance on yourself. Mm -hmm. Give to yourself what you've been given to everybody else. Just mm -hmm. a little bit. Doesn't have to be anything big, but start small, small mm -hmm. steps. Be yes. bold, sisters. Yes, yes. Be strong. Be bold. When it comes to you, right, is where we are. So, with that, this is 
the uh we're good so thank you so much for tuning in the replay this will be up in all the groups this is my bodacious black women over 50 group ignite your life group as well as my personal page thank you so much we'll be back next friday thank you linda bye, bye yes, everybody bye, -bye.